Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. This is your ever-lovable host, ShadowBlade730, and let's make our way through the Dungeon of Misery Mire. Yeah, this is where the game's dungeons really start to pick up in difficulty. Yep. Now, there is a way you can kind of hop back or whatever to get across that gap without the hook shot, but you know what? I'm not trying to speed run or do anything crazy with this, this Let's Play. Oh, here we have a new enemy, Wizrobes. Not nearly as annoying as they were in Zelda 1, but, you know, they are what they are. Those Wizrobes were on a whole different level. We're probably going to die here, but you know what? Oh, well. Between the Wizrobe and, yeah, I figured that was going to happen. This is why you always carry some fairies. Or health potions if you feel like... You know, health potions you get a little bit more bang for your buck. But me, I tend to be forgetful sometimes, so yeah. I'd rather just have fairies. Alright, this is where it gets kind of weird. There are two paths to the right here. Let's go explore them real quick. Yeah, can't go here. But we can go here. For a little trick I like to do here, um, there's an anti-fairy, so... Let's get the magic powder. Turn into a fairy, just to get some health back. Now, you're not going to want to, you want to come back here whenever you get the actual, um, the big ass key for the state, for the level. That's where your, uh, big chest is. But we're not going to worry about that till later. Let's get our bug catching net. Make sure we have another fairy in a bottle. And, uh, nope, there's nothing here, so. Now, you notice that the enemies in this dungeon do a lot of damage. Mainly because I... Um, you're supposed to actually go through level 6, which there's an item you can get there that helps reduce damage. Um, spoiler alert. But since we didn't go there, yeah, we're gonna have to deal with this. Um, makes it a little bit more interesting. You don't have to go through this level first. I choose to because it does cut out a lot of the time required for level 6. And makes level 6 a lot less tedious if you just get the item for the stage. Let's go up here. Now, hold on. I want to try something first. Is that a bombable wall? I don't think it's a bombable wall. Nope. False advertising. Get our hookshot back. Hookshot in this game is just so good. Right, trying to avoid this anti fairy. Let's see what's in this door. Oh, more wizard ropes. You know what? Can't access it anyway because I don't have a big, the big house key. So we'll go up north. How are we supposed to get through this? Our magic cape. Oh, that's horrible. All that for nothing. All right. I said this dungeon is kind of tricky. Um, I don't have a lot as much experience as other dungeons, but yeah, still not terrible though. There are a lot more confusing dungeons in this game. I will say that. But you do, you will notice that, yeah, this is where the spike really starts to turn up. Alright, can't do anything else here, so I'm gonna head down these ladder, this ladder. Make way to the right. I'm trying to avoid these red bubbles. These, these red bubbles will try and steal your sword. And another reference to another Zelda game that I really should let you play. Maybe another time. What do you think, viewers? Just let me know in the comments if would like to see these actually do that. Oh, these annoying little Stalfos. Come on, get her, get her. Ow, stupid Stalfo. Don't make me lose my heart. Stupid Stalfo. I really wish I could just throw bombs and kill those Beemos in me, but sadly, not in this game. What's over here? Wait a minute. There's something else we can collect over here. Okay, let's head back over there real quick. So it's down here. Whoa, we definitely don't want to go here yet. Well, that's for later in the game. Right. This way. Across this little walkway. Oh right, yeah, this is where we're supposed to go right here. Let's see. Collect all these items, try and avoid the red bubbles as best as possible. And you want to hit this switch one time. 
and get our key from under the skull. That's very nice. Head over here. Try and kill this wizard robe, because I hate wizard robes. We do have a key, though, so we can't open this door, which we'll want to. Stupid Stalfos. Oh, don't turn me into a rabbit! Oh, don't turn me into a red rabbit! No! Can open a door as a rabbit, at least? Whew. Okay, at least I can open the door as a rabbit. Can't pick up anything. Alright, let's just change back by taking damage. Get our magic cape again. Poof. Not as cool as the magic cape, the cape of, cape of levitation in Doctor Strange, but still interesting. Okay, missed the anti fairy, but not too worried about that. Alright, so go over here first. Alright. Now that we have the blue um, things down, we can go over here and get this treasure. Open this. And here we have a key. Very, very nice. What's over here? Oh, these enemies. Ugh. Whatever you do, avoid these bombs that these enemies drop because it will kick you back. They hurt. Believe me, they take a lot of life off. Fortunately enough, they actually drop bombs, which actually makes sense. Oh, they dropped four bombs. That's really nice. Crap. Anti-fairies are useful, but man, they can be annoying. Let's get some more life. There we go. get our rupees. Not that we're going to need me. Well, we actually may need some rupees. I may do a little bit of farming, mainly because um, I do want to get some blue potions for our next dungeon. You know why. You know why. And this, we get another key. Very nice. Alright, make our way back down. Make our way back down. Do, do, do. Uh, I love Terry Crews in that role. I don't care what anybody says. Might not have been the greatest movie of all time, but Terry Crews is awesome in White Chicks. Have to. Alright. See, one thing. I'm surprised my lag has not been going off so badly in this level. I'd expect it with all the different sprites and all going, that I'd be lagging out of control, but it's very nice. Oh, another anti fairy. And. Uh, I love how these these little steps and don't hit the switch. Do not hit the switch. You need that switch on blue like it is. So just be really careful. Oh! Got him. Oh, hey, there's a key. Um, yeah, where do I want to go? Let's see what's down first. Well, let's see what's over here. Um, ooh. Okay, little trick here. You want to light the t light the torches. Light the beacons of Gondor! No, no, no. And Rohan will answer. Sorry. Kill that Stalfos. Oh, here we get the compass. If we go through this door, it locks behind us. So, don't do that. Yeah, the trigger mechanism for that door is also those torches, which is kind of weird, but hey, it is what it is. Alright, let's head south. What's down here? Um, uh, we could go here, but you know what? I'm not going to. I'm surprised we've gone so far without the map. We're going actually pretty good. All right, instead of lighting the torches, we want to head south. Alright, watch out for the whiz robes. They're really the worst threat of them all. These little orange things that split and divide and become annoying. Ooh, we get a full magic revive. Very nice. We needed that. Because this area, we're going to need to use a lot of magic. No monsters here. Oh, there's a monster. I knew there was a wizard robe. Right. What's weird about this room is they actually have a set of, I believe it's four wizard robes. And they can spawn, the same four wizard robes that spawn within three rooms. Now, you don't want to light the torches just yet. You want to come down here. Move the blocks so you can get through, as usual. Top and bottom to the side, to behind, and just like that. Anyways, try and get rid of these wizard robes. Light these torches. Run, 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 run. 
Run, 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 run. Okay, one more torch. Come on. Ah, there we go. Triggers a massive explosion in the next room. Yep. That's gonna take a little while. Still more blowing up to do. There we go. Let's even get rid of some of these wizard robes. And here we go. Yeah, this would have all been blocked off. Hey, let's see what Sarah Hassel has to say. Wow. Thank you for telling me that after I did it. <laughs> no, actually, if you did, it just has a um, passage way up to where the telepathy slate is to let you know, hey, this is what you need to do. Let's kill this last wizard rope because I hate wizard ropes. Come on, wizard rope. There you go. I'm going to fall through this hole. In order to get a treasure, here we get the big ass key, finally! But what awaits us further, deeper into the Dungeons of Misery Mire? Find out next time on Let's Play The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. This is your ever lovable host, Shadowblade730. See you all next adventure!